Hi, Sheer Pendarvis here. Welcome to video 5 of the Fine Art video series. In this video, I'll demonstrate how I completed Path to Water Stormy Day. On the left is the underpainting with flat color and general values that we worked with in video 4. On the right is the finished painting of the windy stormy day. This piece is simple and bold. During the painting process, I thoughtfully worked through several stages and also made some proof prints along the way. I like to tack a proof print to my studio wall and study it to check its values and composition. Sometimes I sketch or paint on the proof to try out ideas before moving on. Other times I'll add a new layer to my painter image and try out ideas on the layer and if I like it I'll drop it and merge it with the canvas. On the right is a stage that builds on the underpainting on the left. As you can see, I've added more activity and contrast to the clouds and sky. I've also painted bolder highlights on the water using the opaque acrylic. To add more plant forms and to paint the path, I've used the worn square pastel and the opaque acrylic. In the stage on the right, I've brought touches of blue and purple from the sky into the shadows near the foreground and midground. This is done to tie the piece together. I use the opaque acrylic and the worn square pastel to add these dots of blue and purple. So let's sample some color. I'm going to press the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, and I'm going to choose the Worn Square Pastel here from my recent brushes panel. And I want to use the size right here to size it down smaller. It looks about right, and I'm just going to add a few more dots of this color here in the shadows. going to sample again here and I'm going to add a little bit more just I'm pressing very lightly on my stylus a little bit more to the path and then here over to the right as well just a little more and here into the acacia bush also this bright gold I'm going to sample and I'm going to brighten it and I'm going to add a little more of this brighter gold to the path here because brighter colors will come forward in the composition. I also added more highlights to the bush here and I'm going to size my worn square pastel and I'm going to brush up a little bit to bring some of this lighter color up in the acacia bush on the right. Bring this down a little bit and then this bush over here I wanted to add a little bit of lighter color here too. And a little bit along here to tie this mid-ground and foreground into each other. Next, to further tie the piece together, I added gold from the foreground and midground to the sky, warming it up. I used the worn square pastel to add the gold to the sky using a light touch. Now I'm going to switch to the loaded palette knife and as you see I have it here in my recent brushes and I'll show you how to choose it from the brush selector. So click here to open the brush selector. The loaded palette knife can be found under palette knives and sponges. And I'll show you how it works. I'm going to choose a, a white, uh, sample my image and pull some white up into the sky like so. And I want to make this brighter right here. 
I'm going to sample some color from here on my image and pull this out. This is how I work the highlights on the water. I'm going to switch back to the opaque acrylic briefly and click the reset button to reset it to its default size. And I wanted to lighten this color on the ocean here because I want more contrast between that and my foreground foliage here. So I'm going to paint the lighter blue behind this here and I'm going to go into the bush a little bit because I can repaint it. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to pull some of these wave lines out just a little bit more right here. And tidy this shadow up right here. I'm just sampling and painting. I've continued to work on the sky with the loaded palette knife. I've made a smaller loaded palette knife and I'm going to add some more gold right here. I want to bring a little bit more rain down coming from the clouds right here. I'm going to size my palette knife a little smaller and draw down a little bit more rain, pulling it from the color above, and then deepen this a bit more right here. Next, I'm going to be working a bit more on the water and also the foreground acacia bush right here. To work over the acacia bush in the foreground, I added a new layer and I applied strokes to the layer to make sure that I liked how it was going to look. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this layer. And I'm going to show you how the speckle sticky bristle works. To apply the color activity and fresh foliage look to the acacia bush, I use the speckle sticky bristle, which can be found in the Sargent category here in the Painter 2020 Brushes Library and Speckle Sticky Bristle. The Speckle Sticky Bristle uses the Liquid Brush subcategory which allows us to apply and pull color. So I'm going to select some color from my image here and see how it's allowing me to pull that up. I'm just going to undo that right now and select some gold and add a highlight over here. To complete my painting, I used the Loaded Palette Knife and Worn Square Pastel in various sizes to add movement and texture to the sky and foreground. In this video, we took Path to Water Stormy Day from the underpainting stage to completion. For this piece, I wanted to retain a fresh, bold, dynamic look which was inspired by the brisk weather of the day. We used a variety of brushes, including the Opaque Acrylic, Worn Square Pastel, Speckle, Sticky Bristle, and Loaded Palette Knife. Thank you for watching the video series. Have fun exploring Painter, and happy painting!